Hey guys, it's Maggie here. Welcome to my channel. Today might be a long one, so you might want to grab a snack and a uh, drink and chill out because it's going to be a lot. So two things have happened recently that make me want to make this video. One, uh, Carissa from Fat Girl Flow posted a really great blog post kind of asking thin people for help because we need your help. And second was when I hit 1K, one of my best friends um, from my childhood asked me to make a video about fat phobia and how people can, you know, kind of spot it, stop it, that kind of stuff. So I never even thought about making a video like this before, um, but here I am. So today I'm going to be talking about kind of what fat phobia is, how it manifests, and how you can stop it. I realize that this is controversial. A lot of people think that fat people deserve to feel badly, that they um, are being lazy, they aren't taking care of themselves, and if you're one of those people, I encourage you to listen to this because I, I know it's it's hard to let go of things, but just, just listen, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so here are some ways that fat phobia affect fat people. Fat people are less likely to be hired. If they are hired, it's rare that they'll make the same amount as a thin person at their job. It is incredibly difficult for fat people to get proper medical care because of fat phobic medical practices um, and just a general fear of, of having your body judged. Fat people are assaulted verbally and physically because of their size. Fat people can have very low self-esteem, they can develop eating disorders, all kinds of eating disorders, binge eating, anorexia, and still look fat. Fat people are encouraged to diet and it is scientifically proven that 95% of people who diet gain that weight back and probably more. Fat people do not fit. This is a world that is not made always with them in mind. Whether you go to a restaurant or um, some other kind of event or a roller coaster ride, um, once you hit past, I would say, size 18, you never know what you're gonna get. And it only gets worse as you get bigger. So why are fat people treated so badly? Um, you know, historically we know that's not always the case. The ideal body changes over the years. So there's a couple reasons why the ideal body is not fat right now. A lot of those reasons are money-based. The diet industry makes so much money a year off of the backs of fat people. And if being fat was okay, and if being fat was something to be celebrated, that would not exist. So it's, it's literally uh, people's livelihoods as making fat people feel bad about themselves. Um, so that's one reason. Another thing is wealth. Uh, generally, if you are more wealthy, you can afford to spend more of your time um, trying to lose weight. You can afford healthier food. Also, how people talk about other fat people. You may love your fat friend and you think they're like the coolest person ever, but if you see a fat guy who's having trouble getting on a train or walking upstairs and you make a joke about that fat guy, you're making a joke about all fat people. You're making a joke about fat and that affects the person you're with. Um, and just, you know, it's, it's not okay. <laughs> So it's mostly money driven um, at this point in time why people hate fat people. So let's talk about why um, fat people are affected in this fat phobic way. A lot of it is um, due to stereotypes that have been ingrained in our brains that we've been told um, fat people are a certain way for so long that we believe them and there are there's a list of things that people think fat people are. A lot of people think fat people are lazy, stupid, have no willpower, that they're gross and they smell bad, that they're inherently unhealthy, their lives are worth less than those of thin people. People believe that all fat people are unattractive, um, that fat people are in the minority, which is not true. People believe that fat people hate being fat and are and every fat person is trying not to be fat and I would say most of all people think that fat people eat completely differently are eating fast food every day um, and eat only Cheetos like that is something people believe about people who are fat and all of these things 
across the board as if every fat person is the same are all wrong. Fat people are intelligent, they're sexy, they smell very nice, <laughs> they're, everything is just completely wrong. So that's a little bit about um, fat phobia and why it exists and and that. So taking that and putting it into real life situations, I feel like there's two categories of um, fat phobic interactions you can have. The first one is around food and the second one is about bodies and body image. Here are some subtle things about food that are fat phobic. Implying that there are good and bad foods, implying that a certain food will make you put on weight, um, getting a big plate of food and saying you're eating like a fat person. Questioning someone who's fat or not fat on what they're eating, how much they're eating, why they're eating. Any conversation about what someone is eating, unless they're allergic to something in it, don't do it. Talking about healthy versus unhealthy food, we need to just eradicate that because food can be nutritious, um, but health is, is not the same for everyone across the board, so healthy versus unhealthy food is uh, a conversation that is not doesn't need to happen. Body wise, there's a lot of obvious things, as in like the physical and verbal assaults, and you know if a family member tells you to cover up your body or wear a swim skirt or stuff like that. But commenting on your own body can be just as bad. If you are with a fat friend and you are not fat, and you comment on your own body saying how fat you are, how ugly you look in your swimsuit, um, how much you need to lose weight. They look at you and they're like, well, what do you think about me if you think that way about yourself? Telling someone that something isn't very flattering on them is, can be fat phobic if that person is fat because a lot of people don't care. So don't worry about it. Also, how people talk about other fat people. You may love your fat friend and you think they're like the coolest person ever, but if you see a fat guy who's having trouble getting on a train or walking up stairs and you make a joke about that fat guy, you're making a joke about all fat people. You're making a joke about fat. And that affects the person you're with. Um, and just, you know, it's, it's not okay. <laughs> and this applies not only to that, but you know, to, I mean, the internet is just, crawling with fat phobic jokes and memes and comments. Uh, there's someone I follow who her photo of her doing a cannonball into a pool, a very joyous activity, was printed, cut out, and put on the front of a coffee machine so it looks like she is pooping diarrhea every time someone makes coffee. And that is f***ed up. That is a f***ed up thing to do with someone's body. I mean, so your small comments add up to that kind of dehumanizing bullshit, and it's not okay. So we've covered a lot of stuff, and I mean, I feel like I'm barely breaking the surface here. There's so much more that can be said. There's so much um, intersection between being fat, but then also your race, and also, you know, how much money you make, and where you live, um, and your sexuality or gender. There's there's so many intersections, but this is just kind of an overview. Um, but let's talk about how you, uh, whether you're fat, thin, in between, uh, how you can help us stop this from continuing. Because uh, the fat community is, is up in arms, but I, I agree with Carissa in her blog post that it's gonna take more. So the first step you can do is to be critical of your own thoughts and feelings regarding your body, fat bodies, dieting, food, that kind of stuff, because the diet culture mentality is very integrated with how we view fat people, um, so be very critical about that. And there are lots of books you can read, and I can recommend some to you if you would like. Once you're sort of being critical of your own thoughts, you can start kind of listening to the stuff coming in from your family, your friends, the people from the outside, the people at work, and see, you know, how they speak about their bodies, fat bodies. Um, you, you might not notice it, you know, at first because it's so ingrained. I mean, I can't go to a work function without someone saying, like, how bad they are for eating cake, but it's healthy because it has fruit on it. Like, it is inescapable. Um, but, you know, just be aware of that. Um, it, you'll start being aware of it too. Like, you will wish you didn't know because it happens so often. But when you hear people say something that's fat phobic, um, 
you have to address it whether you want to you know confront them and have a conversation about it or if you just need to kind of rebuff them and not agree with them and let them know that that was a weird thing to say that's not an okay thing to say or that you really don't agree with that and, and move on but don't just sit in silence because we need you um, you know uh, it, it takes it takes everyone to make a change another thing to do that I think would be a good practice is to be aware of where you are, how your body fits into things, and think of how a fat person um, would fit in that situation. I, for example, couldn't fit into a chair at a graduation yesterday, but that wasn't a thought for the people that could. Um, so when you're going to restaurants or theaters or amusement parks, think about how much bigger could I be before I couldn't fit in this? Because a lot of things in this world are, are not made for people with bigger bodies and it sucks and that's part of the problem. In that same line of thought, be aware of stores that you shop in, if they have a plus size section and how plus size that gets. A lot of them stop at 3x but there are people that are 4x, 5x, 6x. I mean, there are bigger people out there who have trouble finding clothes to wear at all. So maybe think about not supporting the shops that don't sell clothes to plus sizes. Uh, think about maybe not giving money to people who deny the existence of your best friend or your mom. Um, I, just think about it because you have the power, like purse power, so you can decide where you want to spend your money, where you want to invest your money, um, and you know whose practices you approve of. And most importantly, and you can do this right now by sharing this video, help raise other people's voices up. Help get a conversation started. Um, the fat positive movement has been going on for a long time. Just help us raise our voices higher. Share articles, share videos, share blog posts, share scientific studies. Um, show your support. And I, the fat people in your life will appreciate it, even if they are not, you know, aware of the movement themselves. Um, it really will take all of us to make a difference in the world we live in, and um, we, all, we all need to be a part of it. We all need to be learning and, and talking and, and changing things. Bottom line is, we need your help, so please help us. We just want to live. Alright guys, that was a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video if you made it through the whole thing. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment below of your thoughts. My social media is on the screen. You can follow me there. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.